Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Simply Carolyn. Today, hubby and I are just riding out. We are on our way to Florence. So we stopped to get something to eat. We are having, ta-da, McDonald's. So I have fries, a Coke, and a double filet of fish. So how y'all doing today? Turn my air down, it's going real Today's a pretty day, y'all. I hope you get out and be able to enjoy yourself. Don't allow this virus to make you think you have to stay in the house because all you got to do is keep yourself clean, sanitize, wash your hands, and keep on living. Because just remember, fear is of the devil. It's not of God. And that's what this thing is doing to a lot of people. It's causing a lot of fear and panic, but... It's not God's desire for us to live in fear. Just know that. So I'll be eating like day, y'all. He just wanted a small a cheeseburger and a small fry. But honey, Piggy got to eat. So Piggy got a double fish. So this is what it is looking like. But y'all, see the little... Lays is so little, you gotta get a double in order to taste it. There we go. Mm. So, I've already said grace off camera, so now I'm gonna get it in. Oh, and this is my first meal of the day, y'all. I told him, I said, We got to stop because I'm hungry. And being a diabetic, you have to eat because you'll get sick. I don't want to get sick. We are starting. We are starting our packing for our move. So we're gonna be busy for the next week or so. And y'all, people will do you so dirty. Now the news was saying, you know, they want you to kind of sit still and not be moving around. So the people we renting from, we don't pay rent for this month, but they're trying to have us to, and we know they were selling the house. We knew that. But they're trying to have us to leave next week. We paid for the whole month. So we got a right to stay in the house, but I've been, we've been looking way before now. But y'all, it's hard to find something sometime that will accommodate your family size. So, a lot of y'all know I have my mom with me, so I'm trying to find something that's gonna be enough room so that she can have her own room. I think we, I got a couple of applications in, I'm just waiting to hear back for some folks, but y'all, people will do you dirty. But just know that God got the final say. He really do. So y'all, the good thing about it is that I'm going to have more room. Be in a better place. And I think the main reason they tried to sell the house with us in it because they tried to pawn that house off on us. But we know all the issues and the things that's going on in that house. And we just refused to pay. I was a hard earned money for something like that. We deserve better. And if I got to rent for a little while longer, then so be it. Y'all don't never let nobody push you to do nothing you don't want to do. Or for that fact, <clears throat> don't let nobody try to make you buy nothing you don't want to buy. Because you, at the end of the day, you are the one that have to be satisfied and happy with it. And you are the one that's got to make that payment. So pay on something that you don't mind paying for. Don't pay on something that you feel like you was forced to, to buy. People do the same thing with cars, but that's one thing about me. My husband can tell you, you're not going to force me to buy something I don't want. No, ma'am, no, sir. Yeah, that's a good sandwich. Look at that. Mmm. Excuse my mouth. How about you ain't going to say hi to the family? How y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a blessed and prosper weekend. 
There he is, y'all. Hope y'all having a blessed and prosperous weekend. Y'all stay blessed. I'm trying not to drop my phone. And always remember that God is first. Yes, always. You got to keep first. him first. God is first. And I do believe that's why God allowed this virus and all this stuff to become. Because he wants us to put him first. Depend on him, not on the, the government or the ways of the world. So as long as we put him first, y'all, he gonna do his part. We just gotta do our part. Oh yeah. The thing about it is, God never change. We change. We allow things to change us. Some people allow money to change them. Some people allow people to change them. But at the end of the day, you better not let nothing change you but God. And that's all that matters. Everything he wrote in his word is true. And his word will never come back void. Whatever he said will be, will be. Y'all, my lighting is going in and out. And I guess because I'm sitting in the car. But I hope y'all are enjoying this weekend. And even if you, I know in some bigger cities, or states, they have, they are um, quarantined. They are mandated to stay in. But thank God, it has not happened here in South Carolina where we are. And I've been looking at the, the news and the TV in Italy. I think Italy and China are being hit hard by this. So we're going to keep them in prayer. And pray that God will get this, <clears throat> allow this this, this uh, virus to become subject to the Holy Spirit because nothing can stop that, y'all, but God. Nothing. So we pray that He have mercy on them over there and keep that thing from spreading anymore. And that's another thing we have to learn. We have to pray for others. You can't always pray for yourself and your family. Don't get me wrong, it's good to do so. But you got to always pray for others as well. I pray for you, you pray for me, and then we're going to watch God change things. Because truth be told, we all living off of somebody's prayers. Our mamas, our grandmothers, our great-grandmothers, our aunties, we are all living off of someone else's prayers. And I thank God for those prayers. And it's probably why I'm still here. Because y'all know when we're young, we do some foolish things. We don't really think about the consequences of things that we do. And we can know better, but we still do it. But if it wasn't for the grace and the mercy and prayers from our parents, we'd be pitiful. Pitiful. Be hubby ready for a nap now, y'all. So yeah, y'all, let's keep each other in prayer. That's all we can do right now. And just don't let, you know, just don't sit around. Still live your life. You got to live your life. You can't let things hap that happen out of our control keep us from living our lives. Mm -hmm. okay. no, I was hungry. Oh, my goodness. Keep on keeping on. Oh, yeah. Keep on keeping on. You know, keep pushing forward. Don't never back up. And one thing about me, y'all, my husband can tell you, I have told him this more than one time, I move forward, I don't look back. What's back there behind me, let it stay back there. I'm looking for what's to come. I ain't worrying about what, what happened back there in the past. Ain't no need to dwell on that. You can't change it. So why would you dwell on it? Or allow it to hinder your growth? Uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. Can't do it. Mm. 
Yeah, my husband said a friend of his told him that he heard a lady say in the store that the virus was going to be over next week. I said, I don't know who told her that. But she don't know. Only God knows when this epidemic or pandemic is going to be over. Maybe she knows something we don't know. But one thing I do know, we will get through this. I don't know when. But I know how, by the grace of God, we're going to get through this. What don't kill you, y'all, will make you strong. But learn to be strong in Christ. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> if you're strong in Christ, you can make it. Don't let your mind, don't let the media and the news and all this stuff that's going on play with your mind. Because it's easy for it to happen. And you know what? If you're a type of person that stuff like that plays with your mind, don't even look at it. You pray. Use that time to pray. Use that time to pray and ask God to cover you with his blood. Because only the blood of Jesus can cleanse you from this. So, y'all, I thank y'all for stopping in, tuning in to me. And listening to what I had to say. And you know me, your girl getting full. I don't read a whole lot. And I'm already getting full. And I still got a little bit of fries left. I'd like to say thank you for stopping by and tuning in y'all make sure to give me a thumbs up share this video with anyone you think will love seeing it and if you're not already um part of my little simply carolyn family what are you waiting on you know i'll be glad to have you so come on hit that subscribe button don't forget to tap that notification bell so that you are aware each time i upload a new video and like i said Oh, God, excuse me, y'all. I thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to stay safe and stay blessed. I love you with the love of Jesus. And I will see you on my next video. Babe, you want to say goodbye? Lean in. Goodbye. Lean in so they can see you. Goodbye. All right, y'all. Until next time, <coughs> thank you so much for stopping in. It's Simply Carolyn. Y'all stay safe and stay blessed. Goodbye.